So starting out here, we have magnesium. And uh, you can see it's a, a metal. It's got a little bit of an oxide coating on here. Um, and so it's, it's got a little bit of a black coating on its surface. But this is magnesium metal. And you'll notice that when we put magnesium into water, we're going to test all their reactivities by dropping the metals in water. A whole bunch of nothing happens. So that's magnesium. I'll leave this there. We might come back to it later. The next one we're going to look at then is calcium metal. In calcium metal, you can see here, it's shiny. Again, it's got a little bit of an oxide coating. This stuff's getting a little old. I have to buy some new next year or so. And it's a little bit soft. I mean, I can dent it with the spoon here, uh, but you can't really cut into it um, all that well. So we take calcium and drop it into water. You should be able to see that it is bubbling quite a bit down there. And the <laughs> pollution here is becoming cloudy. It's becoming hard to see. Um, and that's just because there's so many bubbles in there primarily. There is a little bit of a solid precipitate being formed, I believe. But, but mostly it's the bubbles. Uh, the bubbles you see are uh, a gas being given off, of course. And it turns out that the gas is hydrogen gas. Uh, the movement is coming from the gas bubbles that's given off, and it's basically like a little uh, 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 motor on it, or, or, or rocket on it. You know, it's just the little gas bubbles are pushing it around. There, I'd say we're done, finally. There might be a little fleck left there, but... Just quick, we'll check back in on our magnesium. Still a whole lot of nothing going on. Anyway, our next one is lithium, and I'd like you to see how lithium is stored. Uh, and I, then I'll just point out that all of the others are stored like this. Um, all the, the rest ones, lithium, sodium, potassium. Uh, but I have them stored here in a metal can. Um, and then inside that metal can uh, is a whole bunch of kitty litter. And um, that's to keep moisture from getting in there. Uh, inside there, then, is a plastic bag. And that's just tied shut. And inside there is a bottle. And inside that bottle, you'll see a liquid. You can see a liquid in there. Um, and so, uh, and in that liquid, you can see floating then some dark bits. And those dark bits are our lithium metal. Get out a new watch glass here. So that's our lithium metal. And it's stored under all those precautions to try to keep it from reacting with the oxygen or water vapor in the air. Now, even so, you'll notice that the lithium is pretty dark in color, uh, covering up oxide on it. But this metal here, you'll notice, I can cut right through with a spoon. It's all edge of a spoon there. And inside, you can see a shiny metal. Oh, that dull, dark outer surface. And so the, the reason is because there's that oxide coating on the outside. But I'm you take this and get down another water. Again, the gas being given off is hydrogen gas. I can actually smell it. It's not smoke. It's uh, water vapor condensing on the hydrogen gas that's being formed. Hydrogen gas is very uh, is being, being given off is quite warm. As it rises, it cools, and as it cools, it condenses some of the water vapor out of the air. So it's not actually smoke, but it is a uh, as a result of the, the reaction, and it is a gas being given off at least. That piece is almost done, so we'll drop our other chunk in here. That's the lithium. This is your sodium. Again, it's got a dull coating on it, on its outer edge. Sodium, I would say, is even a little softer, a little easier to cut. And again, you'll notice that it is very shiny for a metal. But, and, but I want you to know that I'm cutting metals here with a spoon. I mean, I can probably squeeze really hard and, and squeeze through this sodium pretty easily. Uh, but we'll shrink the size of that down just a little bit. And then we'll drop a piece of, yeah, I'll take that one. 
this into the water. In those cases, it does kind of into a spherical shape. Uh, it's actually molten. Oh, crap. <laughs> and you can see why I stepped away. We'll try again here. With the sodium metal. Floating now, and because it's floating now, that means that it's somehow become less. 